Hi, this is Bruno from RVing TV. Today we're going to take a look at a Bushwhacker Plus. This is a 2022 Bushwhacker Plus 17 FL. Uh, now the Bushwhacker Plus is a teardrop trailer sitting on a torsion axle. You'll notice it is a single axle. It is a seven foot wide trailer and meant for really a minimalistic style of camping. What's great with this Bushwhacker Plus is it weighs about 2,340 pounds and has about 930 pounds of cargo capacity. Really meant if you have a smaller, lightweight vehicle that's limited in its towing, but you want to get out and go camping. So Bella Vista has been kind enough to give us access to this Bushwhacker Plus. We're still a winter day, but a reasonably temperature day so we're outside on their lot taking a look at the 17 fl uh, now it is an aluminum frame trailer with fiberglass skin built on a steel frame we have nice large tires and you're going to notice that it has really good ground clearance so that if you want to get a little bit off the beaten path you're going to be able to do that when we take a look at the trailer, you'll notice it's non-slide, so it's very compact and gives you all your basics. Outside shower, you've got your city water, hook up your fresh water, hot water tank. So you can get out and just go out and enjoy. Now let's take a look inside at this trailer and some of the features. So in the 17FL, we have a nice recliner here with a dining table and then a bench seat off to the side as well. Decent countertop space and storage. Stainless steel sink, which is a really nice touch with the recessed two burners. Of course, we've got our microwave and our wall air conditioner. Now we do have an Everchill fridge, single door. Uh, let's open her up there. So good size fridge with a mini freezer compartment. We have a sleeping area up front and there's a couple of configurations of this Bushwhacker Plus that you can actually get that'll have the bed, uh, but in the front, can be outfitted with a dinette that converts for additional sleeping. The FL has the reclining chair here. So there's a couple of combinations you can go with. Now we do have a 12 volt high vent fan here to help air out the unit on warm days. And of course for a bathroom, uh, in one of our other videos, we looked at the Bushwhacker, the small teardrop trailer that didn't have a washroom. This has a wet bath so that in a small space you're not using up a lot of living space for washroom and shower. So the wet bath is going to give you everything combined. There are some advantages and disadvantages. Some of the ladies in the past I've heard aren't thrilled with wet baths because hubby goes in and showers and then they want to use the toilet and everything's wet. So you've got to learn to live with it and what you're going to do. But if you're looking for a small unit to be able to pick up and go at a moment's notice, it's something that is a very good feature to have. Now, I love the look inside of the tile. It just gives it a more upper scale look. And we have that self-cleaning shower curtain. So it's a nice feature. You don't have a plastic shower curtain hanging or you don't have a base that has to be pulled out with doors that cantilever on all odd angles. Now what I do like about this Bushwhacker is we've got a window with a screen that's our emergency window and a second window with a screen and you'll see in many of my videos I talk about this about cross ventilation so if you're in a Walmart parking lot you're boondocking and you want that fresh air on a, on a night that's a little bit warmer, that's a nice feature. And then you couple that with the 12 volt fan that'll draw air through the unit. You really have a winning combination. Up here, we have a shelf for additional storage. 
because you always need storage in a unit. But this is a nicely put together unit and a comment I'm going to make for our viewers is I've been walking around and the jacks are not down on this unit. And it's not bouncing around left, right and center like you'd expect of a single axle. I believe that's because of the torsion axle, but it's actually nice and stable. So you're not going to drive yourself crazy. Really good headroom. I'm 5'9", and there's still lots of room in here. So it's just overall uh, a nice layout. I think um, I could actually envision myself in something like a Bushwhacker Plus for summer traveling, where I may not want to take the big, big unit. I just want to pick up and take a weekend to go to Ottawa, or a weekend to Montreal or Quebec City maybe take off and go take in a music festival somewhere. This would be perfect to get out, really be fuel efficient behind a, a vehicle because I'm not towing a massive weight in a big trailer, nice teardrop shape to get the wind around us. So I can see a lot of value in what Bushwhacker is trying to do here, or I should say Braxton Creek is the one that makes bushwhacker but I can see the line of trailers and the appeal that they will have to many campers especially with the lightweight and the amenities that you're getting well this is Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you please like the video if you like the video subscribe to our channel we're trying to push for the 10,000 subscribers and feel free to hit the bell below you'll be notified of new videos on the bushwhacker bushwhacker press products plus other RVing products that we'll have an opportunity to review for you. Thank you again to Bella Vista RV. If you're interested in the Bushwhacker Plus, please look them up at www.bellavistarv.com. Make sure you live life to the fullest. Take care.